Happened yesterday afternoon on I-94, like you say, and we are learning more about that driver. He was apparently on a suspended license and has quite a driving history. Not only that, the wrong way driver was being investigated by police for inappropriate sexual conversations with minors. A view of the tragedy from above. Mother of four, 33-year-old Tia Owens killed by a wrong way driver, barreling down I-94 at a high speed in St. Clair County. In the back seat, her six-year-old son, who suffered broken femurs and collarbone, plus a brain bleed. He's in critical condition, but stable. Tia's sister tells Fox 2 they wish this young man never would have taken her life. We're learning more about the 25 year old wrong way driver from St. Clair County who also died in the crash. The driver who we are not naming was on a suspended license from a reckless driving charge and last month was arrested again for driving on a suspended license. Sources tell Fox 2 the St. Clair County man was also being investigated for alleged sexual conversations with minors online. Two days before the crash, the man was confronted on camera by a vigilante group that exposes potential child predators online. They're called the Predatorial Investigation Unit. He was confronted by the group posing in online chats as a 13 year old girl at this Meyer and Allen Park. That evidence was handed over to Allen Park Police, who had an open investigation into the driver at the time of the crash. All of that happening just days before the crash, possibly speaking to the mindset of this driver. We did ask Michigan State Police, who are investigating the crash, why he was going the wrong way. They said this is all part of their investigation. These are pieces of the puzzle they're working to put together. Reporting live, Jessica Dupnak, Fox 2 News. And Jessica, such a horrific loss for these four children. I know that you were able to talk to their mother's family. How are they holding up? Yeah, we talked to Tia's sister over the phone. She was nice enough to speak with us, but just too upset to go on camera. She said she wants everyone to know that those four children, that was everything to Tia. They have set up a GoFundMe page. You can find all that information on our website. All right. Thank you.